at Excel GCSE Mathematics example of a B grade question. Factorize the two quadratic expressions A T squared plus 5T plus 4 and B Q squared minus Q minus 56. Start with A. So we have two, uh, T squared plus 5T plus 4. And over on the right hand side of the screen we've got some steps that we're going to follow. Following these steps one by one will get a satisfactory uh, factorization completed if it can be factorized. Uh, both of these examples can be factorized. So the first thing we have to do is multiply coefficient of x squared by the constant. Well in this case the value of x is t so the coefficient of t squared is 1. So we're going to multiply that by the constant which is 4. 1 times 4 is 4. The next step we have to find the factors of this product that sum to the coefficient of x. So first of all let's just find the factors of 4. Well they are 1 plus or minus 1 times plus or minus 4 and plus or minus 2 squared. There are no other factors of 4. But what we have to do when we found the factors is find the pair that sum to the coefficient of x. Well as we said x is equal to t in this case so we're looking for the coefficient of t which is 5 and the pair that sum to 5 are 1 and 4. Now we have to replace the coefficient of x with the two factors. So now we're going to replace 5 with 1t and 4t. So now this becomes t squared plus 1t, or we'll just write t, plus 4t and then plus 4 at the end. Bracket the first pair of terms. So put a bracket around the first pair of terms. There they are. And then the second pair of terms as well. So a bracket around the second pair as well. You'll notice that there's an operator in between the brackets. It could be a minus. Finally, factorize each pair of brackets. So what goes into t squared and t? t, so that can come outside of the brackets. t times t is t squared t multiplied by 1 is t, so let's just check, t times t, t squared, t times 1, t. Put the plus there. What's the highest common factor of 4, t and 4? Four? 4, so that can come outside of the brackets. And what do we multiply 4 by to get 4, t? We multiply it by t. What do we multiply 4 by to get 4? We multiply that by 1. Now, look at the contents of your brackets. If they are identical, that is a factor. So, in this case, they are identical. T plus 1 is a factor of this particular quadratic expression. And the other factor, if, this, if T plus 1 is in both brackets, the remaining factor is made up of what's outside of the brackets. So, the other factor is T plus 4 and that is t squared plus 5t plus 4 factorized. At this stage it's very wise to multiply the brackets just to see that you get back to where he started to. In this case it's not a problem because it will go back to t squared plus 5t plus 4. In an examination situation it's probably a good idea to multiply them out just to make sure that you get back to where you started. It's a good way to check. Okay so we move on to B now. Um, B we have Q squared minus Q minus 56. And again we'll, we'll use the same steps. Multiply the coefficient of X squared by the constant. Well X is Q in this case but the coefficient is 1. 1 multiplied by minus 56 is minus 56. Find the factors of this product that sum to the coefficient of x, or to the coefficient of q in this case. So let's find the factors. So it's, uh, this time it will be 
one will be plus and one will be minus because we have a negative product so you can only get a negative product from one negative and one positive number so let's see what are the factors of 56 now well 1 and 56 is always the first one to do uh, double 1 gives us 2 half 56 gives us 28 so there's another pair of factors 3 doesn't go into 56 4 does 4 into 56 goes 14 times 5 doesn't go into it 6 doesn't go into it 7 does go into it and 7 goes into it 8 times and that's all the factors of 56 well minus 56 because one of them will be plus and one of them will be minus okay so we're now going to place a plus and a minus in front of the numbers that we've chosen as the factors that we're going to use so we have found the factors of the products but we haven't found which pair sum to the coefficient of x or the coefficient of q which in this case is minus one the pair that will give us minus one are this pair when we add them together but if we've said minus seven plus eight if we add them together that gives us plus one so the answer is plus seven and minus eight plus seven multiplied by minus eight gives us minus fifty six plus seven plus minus eight gives us minus one so we're now going to replace minus q with q squared q squared plus seven q minus 8q minus 56 now bracket the first pair of terms and then the second pair of terms so the bracket now goes in leaving a minus in between them and then factorize each pair of brackets what's the highest common factor of q squared plus 7q that will be q so we take that outside we multiply q by q to get q squared we multiply q by 7 to get 7q put the minus in highest common factor of 8q and minus 56 is 8 what do you multiply minus 8 by to get q we get multiplied by q when you multiply 8 by to get minus 56 well in this case it will be plus 7 because minus 8 times plus 7 is minus 56 and then finally we we'll look at the contents of the brackets and they are identical so we have a factor q plus 7 and we make up the other factor with what's outside the brackets which is q minus 8 and again it's prudent to test to see that you've got the correct pair by multiplying out and getting back to the original expression.